Hello everyone. Once again, this is Dare to Speak. Bottom line, all this annoying, I had it up to here with this God made you the way you are. Or you hear a lot, I, sometimes I hear this from, from good people too, but that are very religious. But uh, they say, you are what you are because God made you that way. And it went from being a mild irritation that I was able to tolerate and somewhat believe in too. Well, I actually believed it first and then it went to being a mild irritation to being a serious irritation now. And for a good 10 years or so, it's been that way. Bottom line, fuck that stupid bullshit about God made you the way you are. It has nothing to do with God. Now, I'm not gonna get into the whole idea, the concept of whether or not God exists, because I already made that point about whether or not God exists in, you know, in several videos that I did. So you already, for those who, who already know me, they already know about, of the already pretty much know about what I think about God. You are what you are because of genetics. Whether you want to accept it or not, Life is extremely Darwinistic. We live in a social Darwin type society, a mindset, the way we think, the way we behave, and also we, the way we look. We look the way we look because of family genetics. Now, if someone feels that they're ugly because of whatever their nose is too big or there's something or the shape of their mouth or some people you know have a big head or some people that are just like they look funny you know the way their body is shaped and stuff like that and they get made fun of and stuff like that the worst thing you can do is try to um, make that person feel better by saying God made you that way because I think to me is is pretty much is very I'm trying, to, I'm trying to think of the ultimate word for that, but it's but it's very um, misguided. It's very stupid and pointless. And unfortunately, like I said before about um, fat people are fat because of genetics. 50% of the reason why is because of genetics, family genetics. So that's how it is with, with this, except that it's all genetics. So if someone looks the way they do because uh, whether good or bad is because of genetics. Good genetics, you know, with the right type of attractive vanity that, that someone has. And they're very fortunate, they're very lucky. So it's Darwinistic in that sense, in that sense. And some people, unfortunately, uh, that are seen as inferior because they're too ugly or you know, they're made fun of being called ugly and stuff like that. As much as it really, uh, a sad, as, as very sad as it is, some people, unfortunately, are just prisoners of their own genetics. And I'm not trying to say this to belitter anybody or whatever. I mean, there's something about myself that I don't like because um, let's just say let's just say that I don't like the way the shape of my nose is. And it says, "Why do I have a, a fat, you know, chubby top nose or or the that uh, the way it's shaped or whatever?" Let's just say that for example. Well. 
I look like my uncle, look like my aunt. Everybody from my mother's side of the family has that idea, the same type of nose. And when they got into their 40s and 50s, it was pretty much just the way it looks now, the way the way I see myself. So like it or not, there's nothing really, there's nothing that I can really do about it unless I was rich, and I was able to get surgery and change my the shape of my nose to make it look a little bit more attractive or something like that, or or when or you know that's just an example, or or if someone doesn't like the way they look, and they have the money to change their faces. If it makes them feel better, fine. Just as long, just as long as you don't go overboard. You know, there's there's people that are very, so um, obsessed with the with their looks, all because of poor genetics. Now, when you know whether someone is considered ugly or not, you know, you know, it's pretty pretty much the point of view of, of people. But. Not to be mean, but those that are unfortunate to, to be um, unpleasant with their looks. I mean, like, uh, I'm, I'm not going to lie to you. I mean, there's people that I know that are not really good looking. And and, uh, and there's some that I'm like, God damn. When I was uh, growing up during my teenage years and 20s and 30s like that. But then I realized it's not really their fault. I mean, they were born that way because of genetics. Now, trying to cheer them up saying, God made you that way. Don't put yourself down, you're special. The reason why you look that way because God wanted you that way. And since God is good, you look, you look that way for a good reason. I mean, that's very dumb. That's another idiotic thing of religion and all this all this stupid god crap and uh like i said it's it's very it's very extremely fucked up because we live in a fucked up world you're either born superior or inferior not that i not that i believe there's not that i believe there's inferior people or superior people, I don't, I'm not saying that, but the way social Darwinism is, and the way it's being favored, and the way it's being abused in, in society, which is pretty fucked up, it shouldn't be that way, but we live in a social Darwin type of world, that's, that's, that's the world we live in, and for the time being, we have no control over it. But we can make things better. I mean, what someone lacks in looks, they could make up for in character. Plain and simple. And for anybody who feels they're they're too ugly or, or they're too this and that, okay, yeah, it sucks. It really does. You're not as fortunate as those as those like a. Like if you're a guy, you're not you're you're you're, you're not that good looking, and because you take after your dad, or your mom, or somebody, you know, or your mom's side of the family, your dad's side of the family, they're not very good looking, so you ended up um, inheriting that same genetic, you know, structure. Okay, you're not as fortunate as the pretty boy, who has very good genetics, who has that ideal vanity, and he gets all the women. He has that natural charm. His attitude goes along with it. It sucks. Yeah, it sucks. But getting angry about it and making a big fuss about it is not going to make things better. In fact, it will just make it worse. And saying, trying to believe that don't worry about it. God made you that way. God thinks you're beautiful. He wanted you to look that way or whatever. Be grateful Jesus made you that way or whatever or that kind of shit. It's it's very dumb. And it's, you're giving that person this um, sense of solace, psychological and emotional solace from something that's empty and not promising. 
something that's fake. I'd rather be told the truth, feel bad about it, but then accept it and try to make the best of it. That's what I'd rather do. And though it's hard for some people, you know, that that's just how it is. But I'm just trying to say, I'm not trying to condone any kind of mean things about whatever. I'm just trying to fight against the whole idiotic idea of how people use the whole God concept and, and religious concept to make people feel better that are unfortunate with their looks. I'm sorry, but this is the world we live in. You, you look, you are what you are. You look what you look because of family genetics. It sucks. It really does. I mean, when I was growing up, I had thick Coke bottle glasses. I had no, no, I had no, um, uh, any kind of uh, power over that. I mean, I wasn't born rich, and and I couldn't afford to, you know, to get LASIK surgery so I could so I'd be able to uh, see better. And when I got fat, because I have, like again, family genetics, people on my mother's side of the family, and then I got even more unattractive because of that. I mean, that's just, just how it is. I'm, I'm just trying to make the best of it. The only reason why I want to lose weight is because of the fact that, you know, my health, is, you know, is an issue. I'm not, I'm not going to do it just because I want to be a pretty boy. I'd rather do it because of the fact that, you know, I don't want to have a heart attack which I already suffered already once. I don't want my legs to get all fucked up to the point that the, the veins pop and start bleeding like you saw in my other videos where I almost died. That's a good enough reason for, 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 for me to start taking more and more serious on losing weight and putting more effort into it for that reason, because of my health, because of my life. But not for vanity. So with all that being said, I hope that a lot of you understand where I'm coming from, understand what I'm trying to say. And I really like to hear your opinion on it. I really do. I really want to know what you think. And if you like this video, give it a thumbs up. Any questions or comments, you know what to do and all that stuff. And I hope this is not being too cruel. At least I don't think, but I hope it's not. And again, to all of you, take care.